what is happening, and welcome to your Thursday Night Delight. I, of course, am one of your hosts, Sean Rightway, and stepping in tonight, the man behind the set. He's much more important than that. He's a great guy. Of course, we're talking about Stud Lane. What's up? And tonight... Ryan from MNR Productions will be joining us as we discuss Lego Star Wars 2025. What do we know so far and what's on that wish list? Yeah. All that and much, much more because we are... A couple of briquets. Yeah. Yeah. It is a couple of brickheads coming to you live this Thursday, April 11th. Cody, the final the final hour, really, of pre-orders. Guys, I know we said 9.30. We're going to leave it open until uh, around 10. Uh, we got some people saying they can't make it until then. We're going to leave it open another 30 minutes. You guys have done incredible. We have not formally announced this anywhere yet, but the set is fully funded. The set is getting made boys we are north we are north of 100 ordered give yourselves a dub in the chat dude that is awesome i promise we'll stop talking about it after tonight till we get like rehyped again we've been hitting it pretty hard but we wanted to make sure this thing got out um so you guys are phenomenal it's it's unbelievable i can't believe this is happening still um so shout out to you guys on that and uh joining us right now is our uh, guest of the evening. Uh, let's bring Ryan on. What's up? Ryan, What's how up? you doing, man? I feel yeah. like I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you Who, mine? Yeah. I don't know. Cody, am I not on video? Your your video is laggy to me. Uh, audio is, oh, audio is great. The video is lagging. Oh, let me see what's going on here. <clears throat> Chat, what are you guys seeing? Looks good on my end. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in a different location, Ryan. I'm in a different uh, rental house when my house gets repaired. Always a lot of fun. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, Ryan, we just announced as you were coming on the we had we had a goal of a uh, hundred of these sets in order to go into production, and uh, we were we were able to hit the number. So it is being made, a hundred percent. It's I need to order one. Everybody's saying you're fine, but I'm at 480p. All right, guys. Well, uh, I apologize. 240 at best. 240 at best. All right. Well, I apologize, guys. Let me see what I can do to fix that. But um, you got the audio. That's the important thing. Yeah. Don't look at me. All right. <laughs> Here. Maybe we'll read. Well, I'll drop and rejoin in a sec. Ryan, how you been, man? Uh, when I was talking with you a little earlier today, he said, I'm on my grind. I mean, you're pumping out vids left and right. Your team early, of course, on all the May the 4th stuff. Do you have any more surprises coming up for us in the next week or so? We'll you don't have to say say what they are, but uh, you know, if if I get lucky, yeah, yeah, you, you, got some, you got some things up in the air. Oh, is that the new boy right there? Can you hold it up? Hey, yeah, brand uh, new. Look at that. It's not the new one. Oh yeah, I was like, what is that? <laughs> I was like, what did you what did you mod that into? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. They're just sitting around. That's awesome. Um, but by the way, if anyone's wondering, where is Brent tonight? Brent decided to have himself a date night. So let's give Brent some <laughs> dubs in the chat, a little, little date night. So, you know, we got an all-star, uh, crew to step in. Got, uh, Ryan, have you met, uh, Cody Studlake before? Are you guys, I probably know the name and everything you guys are. Yeah, I know you, okay. you know, asked me a question as soon as I put food in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I get paid the big bucks, Ryan. All right, you can answer later. 
anyways uh yeah date night brent you know happy wife happy life that's right you know and i i miss i miss the occasional show it's all good but we you know you know how it is around here we got to give brent a little bit of shit uh for, for stepping out on his show but yeah guys we decided uh we're gonna leave it open for uh till 10 o'clock eastern time um so you know if you guys are interested in getting your order in and then i promise we're not talking about it for so it's all it comes out quite frankly we're all kind of <laughs> We're all kind of fatigued here, but still stoked about it. Um, so yeah, Ryan, we only have you for an hour, so I figured you know we'll 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 jump right in. Let me let me say hello to the Girth Gang real quick, and we'll jump into the main topic, which is Star Wars 2025. It's never too early. Uh, wanted to pick your brain about what you think you know so far, uh, and then also you know what you'd love to see if you were uh, the rightful you know CEO of a. Uh, lego or, or perhaps the what is the head of a uh, lego star wars team called is it a creative director like what's the title of uh yeah that sounds right okay that's what i'd be good at i can't design yeah no you just say things and have people make them right yeah, yeah, pretty much. yeah that's my style like, right yeah. right cody that's my style that's the ceo that's the ceo they just say <laughs> things CEO. right you just say things <laughs> and then hope hope they happen uh but let's get in there guys again we're on the weird setup so we are gonna play a little bit of a different song tonight we're gonna feed those damn ducks yeah all right who's in tonight starting early shreddy he's the first in the chat with the big dub good to see you bud fabu brick shreddy is ready tiger builds channel mem in the house how you doing lego timmy yeah timmy you tried you were fifth good run just off the podium not bad Cooper is in the house. Brian enjoys the thumbnail on that one. Steezy, channel member. Welcome. Sport Sander, Barge Boys, let's go. Guys, Barge Boys. It's gonna be the next movement for ACOB, I'm telling you. We're gonna get into that real heavy. I just, I don't know, Ryan. I'm thinking like a summer collection, you know, for the Barge Boys. Thank you. The whole nine. <laughs> I have a question. Who's is this y'all's website, Matt Black Bricks? Because it's the only thing on there. It's mine. Yeah. Okay, I got you. He, he built the site for this sale. <laughs> so. Okay, I was gonna say there's nothing else. What well, more do you need, Ryan? I you, I'm, I'm, I learned. I, I signed an exclusive, Ryan. You know. That's what... Loner time. Excited for Palps arrest. Papa Rex, channel member as well. Padawan holding it down in the HQ. The UK boys in full effect made an awesome delivery of the six piece 25th anniversary set. Texted that to Ryan earlier this week. Fire. Absolute awesome stuff you guys got going on out there. Timmy K. Poindexter, what is happening? We got to feed the ducks again. Let's feed them. There they go. All right. Walter's in the house. What's going on? Smokey Smokes, channel member. Good to see you. Calvin Dub, long term member of the channel. TJ, Titanium J, channel member. Holding it down. Guys, make sure you check those new emojis. We got some fun ones out there for you, including the brand new HJ, Ryan. You haven't seen the human Java uh, custom emoji for channel members. <laughs> I was going to make that figure. You should. You should. There will be a shirt soon enough. Don't you worry. <laughs> Gotta get on the fig game on that one. We got Oddball in the house. Eli is here. Lego History Sam. Dave GG. Good to see ya. Naked Bricks. There's a lag. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna drop and reconnect at some point. Can Sean release any intel on Life Bricks return for May the 4th? Man, that would be, Ryan, that would be spectacular if we could get him around for May the 4th season. I talked to him again like a week ago and he didn't text me back, so. Jeez. I don't know. Yeah. Guys, we don't have any answers on that, but uh, that would be a nice be a nice time for a return, no doubt. Ostiff. True Squadron. Good to see you. Uh, see, Brent is much better at the Girth Gang roll call than me. It's mainly because I'm doing like nine things at once. Anthony is in the house. Knickerbricker Bocker. 
Eric Kellen, good to see you. And guys, you know the rules. If I didn't call you out here, I apologize. Make a heater comment. We'll throw it up. No problem. We'll get you going. All right. So, Ryan, have you finished your delicious meal yet? How are, you, are you ready to uh, talk some Lego Star Wars? Yeah, anytime. Anytime. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to throw the camera back on. Do I still look terrible? or? <laughs> yeah, just leave it on. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. So look, we're going to jump right into the main event tonight. We are here to discuss uh, Lego Star Wars 2025. And Ryan, I figured we'd kick it off with uh, Revenge of the Sith sets. Is there anything we know? Um, and and what do you, what would you like to see broadly? <laughs> Wait, is there anything we know? Yeah. Do we know? Do we know anything on early 25 stuff? Not Never really. Not. Okay. <clears throat> The Palpatine, the Palpatine, Palpatine's arrest, rumored diorama. Is that still this year, or we don't know yet? That's, there's no such thing as a rumored Palpatine's diorama. <laughs> okay, let's get into this. Let's start there's there. Zero rumors at all. Every let's anything start. you've seen is pure speculation. All right, well, let's start there. Right, Palpatine's arrest, likelihood 2025. If there was one, what would you like to see? What's the likelihood of it? Or do you even want that? I'm putting words in your mouth. Would you like to wow. see another pill? Palpatine's arrest? Yeah. I think it would make sense as a diorama, although judging from the way people react to any diorama that ever gets revealed, they'll think it's too expensive. So, you know, it's a weird thing. But when dioramas were introduced, it was like, yeah, that seems like it's where it's going. And it probably is where it's going. I is just, this going to is this going to yeah. be the first $120, $130 diorama? That's what I think. If they're going to do it right and put all the right Ooh, figs. Yeah. Is there any way we get all six figs that we got last time? They put six, seven figures in the trash compactor, but this is a prequel set, and they don't care as much. So Plus, <laughs> they'll, put, they'll put R2 and 3PO in any set and kind no. of say, yeah, they kind of count. I uh, uh, I would be really shocked if we got everything. It'd be really shocking. Although yeah. we did we did get everything pretty much in the sale barge, right? I mean that that was okay. pretty big news. Important distinction: original trilogy, sequel <laughs> trilogy. Very well, important well, distinction. Maybe you'll get your day in the sun one of these times. I don't know, but so Palpatine's arrest. Right. Right. Over the last five years, right. I'm not going to say there's not. But Ryan, let me let me, let me do it. let me do it this way. You're in Vegas, which would be a very long commute for you to go to. I'm on a casino cruise. All right. You're on a casino cruise out of Port Canaveral. All right. <laughs> and for some reason, the sports book has what is what is the Palpatine's arrest price point and what figures are in? What what are you what are you going with? Or will they let's start there? Will they make it? Figs, price point, diorama. There's Need almost no way they don't make a Palpatine's arrest next year. No way. Unless they do Mustafar instead. <laughs> well, you can do both, but Palpatine's arrest has been far longer wanted. I think Mustafar is a really good option and both should exist though. Like, like both are really like, those are the two scenes that you should do from that movie. They should uh, like in the Mustafar one can be, you can go, it could be reasonably cheap though, too. Um, like sixty dollars or something, and you can just make it like the high ground or something. I don't know. I don't know where you how you would do it. There's like a few different places there that you could do. The um, quote they could put the quote the high ground quote. Yeah, just play the hits right. Like don't overthink it. I I could see them doing. So obviously you're only getting two, someone two, said two figs right, two, but then you could get the little thing they're sailing on and some of the droids maybe that were around. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. For the high ground. Yeah. yeah. Um. To, not, not to derail the entire topic, but someone commented on my video of the pod race diorama, and they said that the quote should have been, now this is pod racing. And I was like, why would they have not? That's so much better than what they have. Yeah. But they have to do some, like, you know. Long long one. <laughs> has yeah, to be long. Think. <laughs> not even, but it just has to be, like, something heroic feeling. <laughs> you can't do something cool and funny. So <clears throat> I don't know if they would do the high ground. Do, Just do you think high ground or they'll do the you were my brother thing? They won't do I'll kill you. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> we're gonna get a custom one. <laughs> Just I'll kill you. <laughs> Just straight up I'll kill you. Yeah. 
Well, wait, you were my brother was before, right? That's when Padme is standing there, right? You could do it, but so you could do anything because the quote from the Padres diorama is from Qui Gon, who's yeah. notably nowhere in the Padres. That's true. Yeah, as long as it's contextual. Yeah. All right. So where are you at? You you all right? So we've got. You're saying sixty to seventy. Let, let's come on. Right. It's probably going to be seventy. There's there's figs in it. It's going to be at least seventy. I would. I'm not trying to, but that's what I think. Mm. Cody, what do you think? Do we get two dioramas next year? I don't think we get two episode three dioramas. Actually, no. I take that back. I take that back. I do think we get two, but I think one of them is uh, similar to the trench run and pod racer. And the opening scene. Video. Yeah, I think it's going to be the interceptors. I think that's so space. But how do you make yeah. that a diorama? I, I wouldn't, but I think that they would. <laughs> I, just I guess like the trench run, like two little stupid baby ones, Ryan. Like two little, <laughs> I guess. I mean, I, I could see it. I don't know. I, I think that was the full set, but. I, I think that one's in third probably of likelihood. Although, and only because I do think they'll make a, a two pack next year. And we'll get into UCS too, Ryan. But what what do you think? Whether UCS or otherwise, they kind of have to do the two interceptors next year, right? They have to. I was uh I was starting to spitball my ideas for a video, and my a two pack of micro fighters was on my short list of stuff. Oh, just n not a straight up two pack play scale, though. I mean, they're on a streak of doing those. I'm I'm not saying they wouldn't. I just thought yeah. maybe they do micro fighters. Gotcha. <clears throat> All right, Cody, what say you if they they make a Palpatine? Are you on diorama price point? How many? I fix? think, yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be in that 70, 80, but I just, I don't see how they're going to match what they did last time with all those Jedi in the same set. I mean, I think they slim it down to uh, Sidious, Anakin, and and Mace. I, I just, that's what I feel. I think it's 100 if it's that, because I think they're going to, I think they're going to, you know, uh, do it like the final duel set with uh Vader, Palpy, and Luke. I think it's a hundred dollar set like that. <clears throat> now, Fantasy Fest, I'd love to bump it to 120, 130, but I don't know if they want to go that crazy. The T Rex the... set was that expensive, and that was a diorama set. Same idea. T Rex the was the indie, maybe that was hundred. The indie set was nine. The the one with the broken fence and all that and a brick built dino, that was ninety nine. The indie set was 150, then that's what I'm thinking of. Also, yeah. Yeah. Um, if we're talking about Mustafar, like conceptually, you could do a Mustafar set like the Indiana Jones set where it has three sections. I highly doubt they would, but that's also like like you could take you could get like good odds in that on the casino on the casino cruise. <laughs> I I I don't know, man. I would love to just see a big fat play scale Palpy's arrest with the little starfighter and i want him to like redo the other one and plus it up that's my dream but it, it i will say it does unfortunately lend itself to the diorama vibe and that's probably what we're getting but as long as we get some iteration i'm fine but yeah i'd love to get some of those other uh you know quite frankly these jedi that are in that set are you know what are they 40 60 100 some of them are pretty uh sought after now so yeah they're they're pretty up there be a nice chance to cop some of those uh ryan any other sets but besides the two dioramas and the micro fighters is there anything else like play scale you think that could happen sorry cody we need a grievous Gr grievous has been a hole for a while um so i i would hope that they'd go back to wheel bike and boga the last wheel bike we got didn't have the the boga the the lizard that he's riding so that that could be cool um with obi was... in the set too yeah that would be awesome there was the um, what do you call it? The uh, you can't do Grievous or the cape with the current setup doesn't work. Um, it's not happening. But um, the uh, the avatar like animal, a lot of people Banshee. Like the boga. Yeah, I don't know its name, but yeah, the boga. Yeah. Or it looks like a boga. So <clears throat> the, if the mold is already there, then theoretically it seems like a lock to me. Um, so I think that one's really highly likely. With a crab droid, that would be a place they would fit a crab droid in if they yeah. consider it. Make up for it. Yeah, I hate that that's how it has to be, but it does need to be made up for. So I think that sets 
reasonably likely because the mold exists and the time is right to do it while the mold exists or while yeah. you have it in production, whatever, just make it a different color. Plus grievous uh, drought and of grievous is in the, the I tales of the with, show. I disagree with agree. Like I, I see, yeah, it's in the show. I agree with, but like, I don't know. It hasn't, it's been a two and a half years of no grievous on a yeah, show. Yeah, I guess it hasn't been too bad. I don't think that's that long or egregious. Yeah. You're just going to have times where a figure doesn't exist for five, seven, ten years. I don't know. I, I, I'm i not saying they shouldn't do it next year. They totally should. But if they don't, I wouldn't be shocked because they just did two years. It was just on shelves doing that. Yeah, I mean, that's true. it's been ten years since we got Dooku, so I guess anything. Right. Yeah, there's so many <laughs> things on the table. So longer. I was going to say, I was going to say I disagree because Grievous is too high of a tier guy. But if they're doing that to Dooku, they'll do it to Grievous. Yeah, I, but – I just feel like with Revenge of the Sith, we are going to see one next year. I don't know exactly where. The The last fig I'll ask you about, obviously, uh, all the boys want some more Padmes. The girls want more Padmes. Everybody wants more Padme. If we're going to get a if we're gonna um, get a Padme, where are we getting her? And what 4th, outfit? May 4th, pregnant Padme dies on, uh, <laughs> dies on operating table promotional set. And if they right. won't do it, I will. <laughs> oh, is that going to be your debut set? That's awesome. You'll have the Just little the one robot. and done. That's it. <laughs> you have the little ro robots that go like "Uba" or whatever. Yeah, that'd be yeah. really fun. The sound like brick. The yeah, <laughs> the sound brick of her making up Luke and Leia on the spot, right there. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, how well, about how about one more fig? How about what are the chances we get Galactic Marines next year? Zero. <laughs> They'll just never Cody, do if it. you want to give a, a serious answer on where you think we're getting a Padme. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know because you can't put her on Mustafar because she dies there and they won't do that. They're not going to do pregnant, right? So, yeah. Because I was going to say she could go in this Mustafar diorama, possibly. Unless they do some sort of like Senate set, which I just don't see them doing. Although the diorama, they don't really set it up to have. She would have to be like in the diorama. They don't just give you sidebar figs in the diorama, so they ain't gonna work. She can't just be like chilling by chilling by her ship on the side because they're not giving us the ship either. No. Although that would be sick if they did a huge indie style one. Ship off to the side. They're over here. I don't, now I'm getting out of hand, but you know, I don't. There's know. just there's a lot of death on Mustafar, and you know they're worried about <laughs> when they choose That's to go down that route. That's true. But, uh, and, and, you know, I guess, uh, does it matter that we had that little, what was it, a little $30 guy? The, uh, the most recent Mustafar went to like a little 30, 200 piece little. Oh, the build. dual sets? The dual sets. Doesn't matter. Irrelevant, right? They can, they can put that out again and it'll still sell. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's Mustafar. That's what I mean. The last Mustafar wasn't yeah. that long ago. Does yeah. that no, matter? No, it wasn't that long, but I mean, yeah. I feel like it's iconic enough that. You know, it probably sold well, so why not make another yeah. one? That's like the X Wing of uh Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> They'll bring it back, they don't care. All right. Uh let's move over to UCS. UCS action on 2025. Um what do you think, Cody? We'll kick it around to you. What what do you it, it doesn't have to involve Revenge of the Sith, but if it was we could do two answers, right? Like if it was if if we do get one Revenge of the Sith one, what would it be? And then also just outside of that, what do you think it could be? Well, I mean, we can start easy. The the big one in October is definitely not gonna be prequel based, especially with us just getting the Venator now. I mean, I don't know what else you would do from Revenge of the Sith that big, but that's way too much of a gamble for them. Benadryl was my lock for next year too. Like, like if you asked me like three years ago, I was yeah, twenty twenty five is the Benadryl's year. It's shocked. Well, they they blew that. So I mean, we're we already got that. So I guess we're good there. But I mean, in regards to the 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 smaller one, um, I would love to see an arc one seventy. I mean, I think that would be awesome. I I don't know if that's too similar to an X wing that they just did where they wouldn't want to do it. It's also more niche. It's um, very niche. I so don't know if they'd do that. It'd be awesome, but I don't know. As far as prequel stuff, I think the Interceptors are probably the most iconic ship, you know, actual spaceship, because um, I don't think they would do, you know, like a turbo tank or, or like a ATT, um, one at that price and two um, as a UCS slot. What do you think about it? Going back to uh, play scale sets, Ryan, probability of a 
of a turbo tank as a play scale, like one of those 140 to 160 mm. situations? Uh, I don't know. I would <laughs> much rather a UTAT. Much rather. Anything. What if, what if what if the UTAT didn't have Marines in it? Well, then I don't want it. <laughs> no good. It's, uh, it's a package deal. I because they, they one can't exist without the other. They both exist together only, and only together. <laughs> so if, if you do one without the other, that's making a sad statement that the other one can't exist. Which but I would you, would you be surprised though? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Together. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that, would, that would definitely be a, a surprise. Um, they're definitely not going to do an invisible hand. It's like, it, like, uh, it's just too niche. It's just too niche, especially for like the price it would have to be. Because if you make that, you have to make it scale with the Venator. You have to. Usually, you don't have to make things scale, but I firmly believe if you do an invisible hand UCS, it has to scale with the Venator. The other issue you created for yourself by doing some like weird version from the Clone Wars of the Venator is technically it doesn't match the version of the Venator you have out. Now that's a fixable issue by people that want to modify their sets and spend a bunch of time and money doing so but <clears throat> yeah i just I, logically if the venator was revenge of the sith i'd give it an inch but i won't i won't i don't think it's i don't think that's ever happening um yeah i just don't think the invisible hands happening it, it, it's too niche it's the invisible hands only basically from that part of revenge of the sith it's probably in the i can't remember it's probably in the clone wars a bit but yeah, yeah, it definitely is. But like generally, it's known for that scene and that scene only versus the Venator, which is like seen a bunch in the Clone Wars and in Bad Batch. And like it has more to it. So I just don't see an invisible hand like ever. <clears throat> they made the micro scale, midi scale one, sorry. <clears throat> and I imagine they'll make a Venator to scale with the midi scale one, but not the other way around. Do you think if there was a year they would do two UCS prequel sets, it would be next year? You still said no way on earth it'll happen. Um, the momentum's there. It's the right anniversary. If there like, was ever a year. Yeah, I guess if there ever was, but it's kind of like in the NBA, if you take out a bunch of your starters, but you still got to leave one in to make sure everything's running well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's 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 pivot there, Ryan. What is the what is the May the fourth UCS, and <laughs> what is what do you want? What do you think it'll be for both May and? What fall? I want and what I think it will be are the same thing. I'm I would if I were the chief officer, it'd be a it'd be a two pack of a UCS Anakin's interceptor starfighter and an Obi Wan's one, both in the same set, two hundred forty or three hundred dollars. That's it done out the door arc 170 is a nice idea i also really want to ucs arc 170 but i think i think the jedi interceptor is the better set because you get both it's got the colors too it's the iconic thing like the iconic thing from the opening scene outside of like the top down shot of the venator just before that um so yeah it's got to be it's got to be that would you do like an integrated stand where it's like one stand and one's lower and one's higher? Is that kind of what you're picturing? Ooh, the the no. slope? That would be cool though. I would I would do two separate stands, but that's interesting. They could. I think you just end up with too large of a span between them two. And even worse, if you ever have to move move them, doesn't work. So I think yeah. it would have to be two. Um just could be so weird to balance. But not, but not you, I would do I would imagine two. Shout out to maybe we'll work a brick shell in here. Maybe that, you know, somebody could make that happen. The little double stand. That'd be cool. Side by side, you know, fighting the good well, fight. So Brick Hive, the reason I think it would be a two for one UCS essentially is because the Obi-Wan set from 2010 was only a hundred dollars. And so these would be like, should be a little bit smaller, but like similar, like piece count pricing. If you just did one. So you have to do two to get it to at least $240 because one with, because they would use the cock, the same cockpit piece, it would have to be like $120, you know, $130, $140 size. You can't make it bigger. So it has to be two in one, I think, to meet. To meet, They have a price floor for what is UCS. And so it would have to be two in one to meet that price floor. <clears throat> That's just here's, here, here, here's a wrench to all the plans. Uh, mm -hmm. We haven't, this hasn't come up yet, but I was thinking about it earlier. It, we're on a 10 year Annie, Cody, of, uh, you know, Force Awakens. Is there any 
Any chance some? All right, maybe not use. Yes, does a set sneak into the, uh, one of the waves, Ryan, or with like a completely out of nowhere? Let's get Kylo back in the game, kind of a situation. I don't think so, but I, they can make anything at any time. So there's that's that. A, that's a that's a hot take, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with they will do one or something of the ten year. I think they're gonna do something. They did do an episode two set in 2022. Anything is possible. <laughs> and they've, you know, and they've, they've blended uh, Phantom Menace and, uh, you know, the 25th anniversary. They had no problem, you know, mixing celebrations. So it's not it's, like there aren't enough slots. I just don't know why you would. No one cares about the movie. Everyone hates the sequels. I mean, the only real – like, what would be the most – all right, when it does come back, if it comes back, Cody, what's the most desirable set on, on the sequels? It's got to be the Kylo Ren shuttle, right? Like, that's the I only think, – I think the most likely would be a, a revamped BB-8, honestly. They're redoing all these other buildable figures. It it I guess it depends on if their um, piece selection and techniques have progressed enough to make it happen where it would be different enough. But I don't see anything that's safe – outside of like a BB eight, that's, that's really like one of the most iconic. And like you said, Kylo two, the helmet um, is sick and, and the shuttle is pretty sick, but I don't, I don't know what the safe option is for them to pull from those three movies. You got a shout out for UCS Maz Kanata goggles. So that could be <laughs> a fun ride. No, I agree. Look, I think it's too soon for the Kylo uh, shuttle. I do think a UCS of that down the road, maybe during a significant anniversary. But again, I don't know if it'll have the the pull, you know, to to move as many units. Uh, it's like you were saying, Ryan. It, that'd definitely be one that you'd you'd have to want to have a starter on the other end of that that UCS situation. All right, so you've you've uh, you've nailed down your spring lineup. You're go you're going uh, you're doubling down. You're saying. It's what you want. It's what you think they'll make. Now let's get to the fall. Uh, I've heard you say we could. Is it time for another MBS? And if so, are we moving back to Ewok Village or an Endor or something? Like, in is mind, there any MBS that could be in prequels whatsoever besides the arena? Maybe I don't know. Uh, Jedi Jedi Temple. Um, yeah. But in my mind, there's zero chance they'll do anything that's not uh, Endor next. <clears throat> like they've like otherwise I think the Endor like bunker would have been a play set at some point in the last five years. Like there's just no way they keep skipping on doing that for like $120 in like for no reason. So just, I, I it's just what I think. So. <clears throat> that makes sense. And you know, they do need to do another MBS again. There's no rhyme or reason to when they're going to release it, but Whenever the cantina retires, I I imagine that's it. Seems like those will not run can set like together at the same time. They'll just one then the other. Partially, I imagine because of the number of minifigs in each set. Um, I think. Oh, I'd have to look. Uh, did the Death Star retire? The 2008 Death Star retire before the 2013 one came out. I don't think so. But <clears throat> generally, there have not. There's not been a lot of overlap with those. And I imagine it's because of how many figures there are. <clears throat> now, Ryan, it might be our audience, but uh, I don't know if you saw it, but a, maybe a month ago, three weeks ago, we ran a, a March Madness style thing where we let everybody vote on uh, the current, uh, all current Star Wars sets on shelves. There was a tournament, which you could imagine it was a big, the final four, I think was all UCS or damn close to it. And the Cantina actually won the tournament. Now, that could be our audience. It skews a little older, but the Cantina won. And so, like, it shows me, like, the appetite's definitely there if they could get the right. It speaks to the strength of that set. And then, obviously, you know, the probably the hunger for another MBS. So, I'm, I'm pretty excited about Yeah, it's been out for four years, or going on four years now. So, it definitely is doing well. They would have retired it. So, yeah. I mean, it's been on that rumor list for at least two years and it's really heating up for this year. So I think this might be the year it goes, but like you said, you never really say never till they actually pull the plug. Um, Cantina has 21 glorious figgies. Yes, it does. That's another reason people, I have the Cantina and I love it. Yeah. A lot, a lot of, a lot of big fans of the Cantina out there. Um, Cody, did you give your fall prediction? I'm sorry. 
Uh, I just said no way that there's going to be a prequel set. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, really I, 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 I think, uh, yeah, Ewok Village obviously makes a lot of sense, especially if they're going to go back to Master Builder series. Um, yeah, and, I mean, it completes it completes your run of Cantina, uh, Cloud City, and then Ewok Village for you there. For your location based, yeah. Could they try Hoth again and get it right? Probably there's you been too much Hoth lately. Do Hoth yeah. again before you do Endor, and Hoth should be done as a hundred and fifty dollar playset like the Death Star and uh, Yavin. This like this year's Death Star and not last year's Yavin. It should be that. <clears throat> Trying to figure out this question from Jimmy. <clears throat> Would you rather have more fairly priced sets that are the same quality as usual or expensive sets? Okay. With dual molded legs, cloth pieces, no helmet holes, etc. Basically, would you pay I think I know the answer, but would you pay more to get everything you want? And I how much the more? Amount of money I pay now and things should be better. I don't know. That's not really relevant to what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I just I was whatever. People want to ask you stuff, you know. I don't know. It's like so my my answer would be sure for like 10% more. We shouldn't have solve. to pay more. We shouldn't have to, but the world's not fair. You know that. That's like oh, it's a hypothetical. I'm not, like, <laughs> never, never even have any input on that particular. Hoth, this is a hot take. Hoth deserves better than that mediocre 2022 wave. No snow speeder, no echo base to go along with the Imperial. So, uh, I felt like Hoth got a lot of love in the recent years. I mean, sure, there were a couple pieces missing. You did have the snow speeder, and the UCS was what, 19, 18? Uh, UCS snow speeder. I don't know, but I, I feel like Hoth's had some decent love uh, relatively recently. All right, so that's on the UCS side of things. As far as me, like, yeah, I, I think the two pack's a great idea. I can't think of anything. Else. I mean, if I had to be devil's advocate, what other smaller original trilogy, like 220, 230, or 240, wherever we're at now, set would they do? I could if if they if they stick to that cadence of Luke's land speeder X wing interceptor, could we go just straight up tie? Uh, no, Darth Vader's tie fighter is definitely next tie fighter. It would be Darth's, yeah. Okay, so then back to back. I was shocked they did the tie interceptor first. I get it. I see what they did. They did the X wing and tie interceptor. They were the first two UCS sets. They did the. They even did the stand in the style, like for sure. That's totally what they were doing, but. <clears throat> There's no way they do anything TIE fighter wise for Darth Vader's again, right? I don't know. Bomber? <clears throat> TIE bomber, maybe. Um, I, yeah, I, I just, uh, I don't know. I'm reading. UCS Y Wing is not happening for at least till the next decade. There's no way. All right, right. I'm going to ask you something right now. And you feel free not to answer if you don't want to. But uh, have you seen the TIE Interceptor yet? The UCS. I, if I had, if I would just guess, it looks like a UCS tie interceptor. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, they, they've done a nice job of uh, buttoning that one up. I mean, I haven't, I, you know, I've been a little bit offline. So if I've missed something, guys, I apologize. Uh, I haven't seen any leaks, so I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Hoth sells well where we haven't seen much of Endor in general. That's why I'd bet more on something on Hoth and Endor related. I don't know, man. There's a big contingent contingent of fans out there that and, and a lot of that stuff is still reselling pretty well out there as far as the bunker and Ewok Village. You know, if if they do pay attention to Bricklink, they claim they don't, but <laughs> I think but I I will say I wish they had flip flopped it, Ryan, and we got the indoor last year to have it make sense. That's why it's it's tough to make a show for us based on this because they these anniversaries, I think they use when they're convenient. It would have made a lot more sense to to do that on the anniversary of Jedi last year. Like I said, like I said earlier, they can make anything anytime. Yeah. The anniversary stuff, I think, is fun. I think in the last few, definitely the last five years, like the last, like this didn't used to be a conversation every year. The last five years, every year is like, what is it the anniversary of, and what are they going to make for the anniversary? And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it's like, like. Half the conversation every year is now like, what's the anniversary and what are the anniversary sets going to be? Mm, they so. like lightly care. Like I said, I think it's like if it doesn't get in the way of what the real plan is, I think they'll shoehorn. I think the interesting like way to look at it too is like 
you're doing anniversary sets. So every five years now, you have to do anniversary sets for everything every five years forever. I don't think that's how it's going to work going forward. I think right now it's obviously what's hot and people are talking about it. So they're going to do it. But like, I don't know, are we going to get 35th anniversary episode one sets? I kind of hope not. Like they should just at that point, again, be releasing things whenever. I don't know. More mechs. Oh, Revenge of the Sith mechs. Ooh. Uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan mechs? Maybe. Why not? Would they Would they be in, like, uh, clone trooper mechs, you think? Like, I don't, oh, I don't know. know how you would design the mech, I guess, because they're not armored like uh, Darth Vader. I would Vader. do a Rex, a Rex and Cody. <laughs> color yeah, one they could maybe. do a Cody. Yeah, they could do a Cody and a Rex and jump in there. Uh, Grievous uh, would be cool, but there's no way they'd put Grievous in a mech. <laughs> it'd be way, it'd be like a thirty dollar mech. That'd be kind of funny, actually. Tiger builds is the one guy that's pining for the solo anniversary. He can't wait to see what they're. <laughs> and by the way, this is coming from a guy who I think I think Solo was fantastic. Its only major flaw was, you know, you couldn't possibly physically get Harrison Ford in it. I think the kid tried, but. It, Compared to the crap we got after that, Solo's kind of on <laughs> the upper tier, unfortunately. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a very good movie. I like that movie. I do too. But it's like the whole time I'm just like, it's just that's not Han though, you know. But he did great. Like, it, like I said, it's hard to hold it against the guy. Um. All right. Um. Let's see. Do do. What do we have here? Any more uh, UCS droid tie tri fighter? I don't know. No. Definitely not. Buildable Grievous. I mean, it's one of the better buildable yeah. characters. <laughs> That's like, I don't see why not. Um, but then, oh, then you get the Grievous figure. And, and the set won't feel as overpriced because it won't be a cheap set. It'll be like $200 anyway. So the like extra money that Grievous usually makes a set feel like it costs doesn't really like it'll be it'll be a lesser percentage, you know. So you're thinking in the same scale as like the Chewy, like that kind of deal? That'd be huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean they already made one just that big, so I don't see why not. Yeah. Everyone wants a UCS turbo tank. That's just a comment. I have seen it a lot though. Uh, you know, everybody is strong there. Um, I, I think that one's unlike. I think a play scale is probably more likely on that if we do get one next year. But not is sure. there is there any chance we do get a Jedi Temple micro scale that was fake rumored all those months ago? Um, I mean, I the only that. reason I think maybe is is everyone wants you know Coruscant stuff yeah. and and Jedi Temple, and they put out that Potter set for one seventy or whatever. Which yeah. seems similar. The only so like if I was in charge and I if I yeah you would just do this it just makes sense right but the problem is Lego Star Wars like like they the Harry Potter did like those really big figures like of uh, Harry and Hermione and like I assume Lego Star Wars would do Farm Boy Luke and Princess Leia and they never did. It's, it's crazy. Like, every, every once in a while you just see other themes will do these those types of things where it's just a one off idea. And no one else ever picks it up, even though it seems like it's something that would work. So I just like analyzing it like that, you would think not, but at any time that can change. And this would be a good time for it to change. <laughs> so no, uh, I, we, I don't know if you were on, Ryan, but we went on and on. Like, how would you do it? I think it might've been you and Tyler. And by the way, we still got a ton of people asking about Tyler guys. We know he's okay. We know that we don't know when he's coming back. Uh, or if how right? recently do you know he's okay? He ordered a he. I mean, spoiler. He ordered the 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 set. We okay. know that. Okay. <laughs> so he's 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 with us. Everything's fine. Um, I was gonna so, say last I heard was from you, and that was two months ago. Uh, I had one other between now and then. I didn't tell you, but yeah, I just you know said give me a thumbs up or something. He's fine. He's I, we'll see. But thank you guys. And by the way, every time you guys ask. Uh, you know, I, de I definitely go to him and let him know that people are thinking about him and asking about him and all that stuff. So I know we're kind of giggling around here, but like he's, he's, he's doing good from what I can tell. And he's just taking time out 
until I hear different, that's going to be my answer when I ask or when people ask. So, um, but uh, Tyler, if you are watching, dude, we miss you, bud. Come back <laughs> as long as you want to. Um, all right. I love this answer. No, we got the light pole already <laughs> for the <laughs> Jedi temple. That was mighty nice of them to give us a smidge. Um, there you go. Mr. Agent Bricks with a shout out. But he's showing love to Tyler in the chat. It's awesome. Um, all right. So now we're going to get into the section I call it, et cetera. Uh, so this, you know, what, what do we think is going to continue? Ryan, you've, you've famously said many times, just because there's a trend doesn't mean jack shit. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, you know, you're like, it's a trend till it's not. And everybody says things are trends. But what, like, of the things that are kind of happening now, uh, the 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 MIDI, the Starfighter, whatever the hell that series is called now. Like, are we going to see some more of that next year? Maybe with some more of the picks there. Uh, we've already talked about mechs a little bit. Are those continuing, you think, and some picks there? Like, you know, like the the the, the continuing in 25 that's happening in 24 stuff. They're only doing one mech this year, so I can see that being phased out. Helmets definitely aren't coming back. They wouldn't get rid of those for one year, say they're done, and then bring them back. Um Midi scale would definitely be in next year. Uh, micro fighters. I almost want to say they're out, out, but I don't know. <clears throat> uh, Something's got to fill that cheap slot if they were to get rid of micro fighters and mechs, right? Yeah, I ask, but like, but. They're not even filling it themselves. They they're gonna put out one mech this year or one one micro fighter and one mech. Like I don't know. They're not even like trying. Like they used to put out six a year, right? So they're not even trying to put out a lot of cheap stuff. To be fair, and, uh, and guess, brickheads and brickheads, they're putting in like five packs now, so you can't even get those at that cheap. That slot. and those aren't available. Like so, those are just like Lego store things. So like yeah. the vast majority of people. That's not even like a purchasing option that they consider when they're at Target. You know. Although I guess Cody's coming, right? <laughs> Is that going to be in stores? It'll be at Lego Brickheads, stores. Just Lego stores. Brickheads are never in. Oh, no, they are. The two packs are. I haven't yeah. seen the one packs in stores in a long time. The, la the last one, because that's right when I got into it, because I even asked people. I was like, were Brickheads it's in just, regular it's stores? Down. It was Mando and uh, Baby Yoda was the yeah. only one I've ever seen outside of Lego stores. But I know before that they were, right? Is the Kenobi 2-pack not in stores? No. Like you're talking Ray and, Ray and Kylo Ren were, but that was that way was in the old, beginning. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, as far as like normie stores now, no. They weren't in Target or Walmart or Nobes or any of that stuff, um, that 2-pack. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, guys, quick programming note. We are at uh, 9.54, so you've got six minutes to get um, your orders in. Uh, we extended it another half hour because we wanted to give Ryan his hour mostly uninterrupted, but we do have to <laughs> we do have to get one final plug in. If you guys want the set, be part of history. Ryan, I don't know if it, has anyone else done anything this wacky. I mean, people come out with sick figs and all that, but has anyone made a set with a box with a with a build? Like as far as like a YouTuber, pro I mean, I know Citizen does stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's all I. That's what was, what was on my mind. I can't uh, think of anyone else that was crazy enough to try this. But by the way, us doing that, of course, Ryan. Everyone's like, when's Ryan doing his with his glorious setup in the background? You know, if you see, if I was gonna do that, I would have done. I would have had to do it a couple years ago because someone actually made like a version of my room. Yes, that's right. It looked really nice, but I never did anything with it. So, and now that I'm not in that room anymore, it just makes zero sense. So. I don't know, man. You could get a retro. I mean, look, Star, <laughs> Star Wars is printing money off nostalgia. I mean, maybe not right now because it's so fresh, but maybe one day you could do the old room uh, dio. That'd yeah. I, I don't know, but not like currently working on that. So, all right. All right. No well, idea. Uh, well, Soka Brickheads definitely are not in Walmart stores. They could have been an online return. I don't know, but like not an in store item. Yeah, you guys might see stuff as one-offs for sure, but like, yeah, it was not a regularly like assorted thing. Buildable Droidica, I saw it two days ago, and it hasn't left my mind. I need it. Yeah, Ryan, very favorable on that Droidica. You love that thing, right? Actually, Ahsoka is not even on Walmart's site from Walmart. Yeah, it's literally. I don't even know how it got there. It's only sold by third-party vendors on there. 
Toys R Us in Canada has brickheads. That's because Toys R Us in Canada rules, man. <laughs> Toys R Us getting... had a lot of brickheads back in the day, too. Man, and you know what's sad is I wasn't – I never got to enjoy the Lego Toys R Us era. <clears throat> never did. I bought around it and other stuff, but I did. I was not there for the Lego run at uh, Toys R Us. Very you, sad. You missed when they would upcharge like 5% on every single set. <laughs> <laughs> it was great yeah. there were fun <laughs> events though and exclusives and all that they run good sales every once in a while i'd be like buy one get the second one 40 percent or something like that which i mean today is basically your 20 percent, but it had its time so, so quick sidebar was was that like the number two like at one point but like okay so lego stores they're just now getting more and more of them out there they're still I think only a hundred and something in the States, but where was the preferred place? Was it, was it Toys R Us when you guys were coming up to get the sets mostly, or was it Target Walmart mix of the three or where was the primary place you go when Toys R Us was involved? I mean, back in the day it was KB toys, but that's like way <laughs> well, back in the day. Back <laughs> Well, the Toys R Us I don't always. Know if that Ryan was in, were you in a KB toys, Ryan? Was that in your personal, I guess that, yeah. Oh, okay. With the orange stickers, they're fantastic. Or yellow, yellow and red. I don't remember any stickers, but oh yeah, they always they always had their price stickers on on the boxes. But uh, um, I feel like Toys R Us probably had the best selection outside of Lego stores. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I would only go to Toys R Us if I like wanted to set early usually, and that's like if I get my mom to take me, and then they would but like i was i would have i was way more price sensitive so that extra two dollars like mattered to me like now i wouldn't care yeah if it, especially if i was buying it early whatever but like i remember buying like a set early and being like i got ripped off this was 33 instead of 30. it's kind of a scam it's just like <laughs> yeah not great <clears throat> but they had it first but yeah i mean i would just buy it wherever i was usually i didn't like i would like going to toys r us but didn't have like a huge preference where to buy things all right, guys, to send out the countdown, what do we want to do? Uh, Cody, I'll let you pick. Do we want to do we want to replay the the brick clicker promo vid or do you want to do the basic one? Uh, Ryan, have you seen the brick clicker video that he did for us? No. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Right. That one. Play that so, one. So Ryan, he sent he sent us this and we're still like absolutely stunned that this uh happened. Let me get this banner off the screen real quick. Uh, we opened the show with this last week. Turns out he watches the show. I had no idea. Check this out. Hello, guys. Brickly Care. Today, we have a huge leak. We have images and details of the brand new Air Cod Limited Edition set. But yeah, I'm keeping up with the details. It is set to be set number 852021, titled A Couple of Brickheads. And when this one releases, it is going to be costing yet $70. Before that price, you're going to get two great builds and also two great minifigures. Of course, we're going to get Sean's set up, which includes my skill Endor and Disney Castle and also his desk as part of the build. And of course, with the Sean the Right Way minifigure, he will have a custom printed air cop torso, and you can't have Sean, of course, without having Brent. And Brent will include micro builds such as Republic Gunship and also the Millennium Falcon in his studio. And for Brent's torso, it will also be an exclusive with the iconic catchphrase heater printed onto it. And every one in ten of these sets, there will be a chase figure being full price Jones. So potentially, if you buy this, you could get that also included in the set. And of course, the set is going to be limited as pre orders are going to be starting tonight. And of course, order it as soon as you can as the pre order orders will only be open for one week and also sources close to air corp do tell us there potentially could be some gift with purchase but what is confirmed is this set is going to be a certified heater so be sure to pick one up but with all that being said remember guys keep clicking and bricking i'll see you all later guys bye bye yeah so we we started the show with that last week and ryan i don't know if you've been on with but brent does a, a pretty good clicker impression yeah. And so there was some confusion. They're like, God, Brent's gotten really good at that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, that's I'm like, no, that's the that's pretty good. That's the genuine article, you know, of uh yeah. So huge shout out to the clicker. <laughs> you my wife's making faces over there in the uh in the other room. Uh but yeah, huge shout out to the clicker. Guys, it is now 10 o'clock Eastern. If you're if you want in the chat, if you say you're in the cart right now and you want to add one, I'll squeak it through but i really want to like keep our our word the best we we could we we do want to you know we ryan we did this one differently than the thing we did with you and then the box of boys before where it was a set number we just thought it was yeah. fair to like we'll open it up for a week 
whoever wants to get one gets one. If you if you tuned in late or whatever, we feel like you've had time. And guys, the only reason we're shutting this down right now, I would have loved to have opened it up for a little longer, uh, is that we've got to get into production if we're going to hit Brick World. Like, quite frankly, that's that's what we're what up against. What do we against. got, like 60-something days? We're almost we got there. got 60-something days. Cody has already sourced a lot of the parts, but Ryan will tell you, too, if you're trying to get a ton of parts for a project, like two months is cutting it really close. <laughs> like, Yeah. So we're – we're getting it out there. Um, we got some friends uh, helping out with the sourcing as well. Uh, you know who you are out there, but uh, well, and we will, uh, Cody. I think next on next week's show, we will release the edition number. Uh, yep. So you guys are actually creating the edition number. We did sixty six on the box of boys. We did two fifty with Ryan on the anniversary case. You guys are making the number here, so I'm curious to see what it ends up at um it'll be an it'll probably be a random number but it'll be a <laughs> it'll be a fun number either way is sean's mouth out of sync yes i'm having some kind of video lag guys i apologize i should you probably always round it up and have extras to sell to that's a possibility we we good. we've talked about that we might bring a small handful to to brick world plus like i don't even have one brent got his order in. I'm, I'm out here doing this but in the show, and I was like, I'll probably want a couple because my daughter is not going to want to rip one open. I started thinking about it. It's like, well, my mom will probably want one. So, yes, you're right. We should probably get some couple extras. But we're not going to sell them like that anymore. Um, yeah. But, yeah, guys. I can find them on eBay for double the price. Don't worry. <laughs> well, well, people. Yeah, I got to order, order a few more. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I will tell you how many. Now this is this this is interesting, Cody. We had so Ryan, one of the gift with purchases, <laughs> what or one of the one of the what was it? One of the offers was uh, full price Jones, right? It's one in ten sets. You get the full price Jones Chase figure. However, we said if somebody was crazy enough to order ten, you're guaranteed a full price Jones. We had two people take us up on that offer. <laughs> so two people, two people have. Seven hundred dollars worth of ACOB sets, and I hope they go right to the moon. You know you who know? they are? Yeah, yeah. What are they going to do with ten? They're getting a full price Jones. I don't know, and they're already talking about strategy. Uh, people are talking about weigh it. People are going to weigh them. <laughs> you know, and see what when, when? <laughs> what when they when, get the when? set when they get the sets when they get the ten. Yeah, but like. Are they not just going to open it? Or like, are they going to switch it with someone else? And like, I, like I'm confused. Like, how they're going to like what the advantage of actually knowing is? Well, well, the advantage of it's knowing like is you, let you'll let's know. say they're let look. I'm not saying there'll ever be any value down the line, but if you bought ten and you figured out the one out of the ten, which is going to be a little heavier, has FPJ in it, you definitely keep one of those for yourself if that's what you're into. And the other nine, you do whatever because you know they don't have it in there. <laughs> You know, like, huh. um, I don't know. Oh, what was I gonna add? Oh, I had a good thing for you, and I forgot. Uh, oh, when I was when I was just on your site like an hour ago, I looked at it. And I, I read the full price Jones thing. I didn't really understand what it was saying. I thought, like, I just kind of like skimmed by it, and I was like, I don't get it. I'm not gonna read read it again to figure it out. But I thought it was like use code FPJ, and you'll get this set for full price. I thought that was the joke. That that damn it. You know, that's actually funnier, but <laughs> I that's what I as I was scrolling and just like oh well, that must be it. Next well time. we have had people ask about coupon codes and stuff, and I'm zero like zero percent off like, FPJ. Could have overpriced FPJ. Jones, add five percent FPJ zero. <laughs> yeah, we should have done the promo code. <laughs> but no, people were asking and we're like, dude, we're up against. I mean, Ryan, you know you're not a, a major customs guy. I mean, you you dabble, I think. You're, Maybe more. He than makes that. them. He makes customs. Yeah. All right. Fine. I don't. I don't want to put words in your mouth. But he's got Brian, more added to the shop Brian, every day. He's, he's the, got vending Brian, machines and. <laughs> all right. That's true. Sorry, that was a stupid thing to say. All right. Will you? Will you comment on though? We've had some people questioning how it gets to seventy bucks. Do you think? I mean, given that you get packaging and everything, we went as low as we possibly could on this thing. Okay. I was um. I was talking to someone else about this today about something else. So someone you you and I both know. That we talked to on the phone. You, you got that, right? All right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Basically, basically, what I told him was like, you know, 
no matter what, doesn't matter what you're selling, doesn't matter. Like, okay, so for example, my up my like uh, battle pack upgrade kit that I sell for fifteen dollars, that cost me like eleven dollars to make, I think, something like that. And someone commented like, "This should be ten dollars," and I'm like, "It costs me more than ten dollars to make. You have no <laughs> idea. It's completely arbitrary." Yeah. And I, I I get like the desire to want something to be cheaper. That makes perfect sense to me. Right. But like on the other side of it, it's like I know what all goes into it. And the the eleven dollars it cost me to make doesn't even consider labor, the time it took us to take nice pictures of it, the, fees, the like transaction research fees, and, research and development, transaction fees. If I have a discount code, um, the cost of like owning a business every year to like pay the lawyer four hundred dollars to re up your business and pay an account, like it doesn't even account for anything else, which it should, yeah. but it doesn't. Um, so like, yeah, basically, and cause I was talking about, he's like, oh, I have X amount of employees and I'm like, oh, I have one or two from time to time. And I'm like, yeah, there's like costs of doing business that people don't consider. And it's just like, you're not going to get away from it. There's no way because just people want things to be cheaper inherently. If it was $50, they would want it to be 30. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> it doesn't really matter. Um, but like to your point, let me look at it again before I say, I think it's a really fair price. Hold on. Go to Matt Black Bricks. <laughs> I just bought it and I didn't really uh, think about it. <clears throat> well, you're supporting the boys. I mean, but if it's but not I, 10 I, cents I... per piece. It's not for me. Look, <laughs> if, you're, if your headspace is at 10 cents per piece coming into buying anything custom, you're never going to be happy. So no, 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 no. Um, but shout out to Shy. <laughs> custom box, limited quantity of like 100, two custom printed figures, custom printed 501st tile, bunch of custom parts, plus. I mean, I don't know what you pay to get it designed, this, that, and the other. Yeah, it's going to be $70. <laughs> yeah, especially uh, at the number we're moving to, which isn't... Yeah, 150 at most maybe here. We, so. we know it's we know it's well over 100 at this point, so we are going to be able... And that was the other thing, right? That was the dependency. We had to hit a number just to get it made, to, to yeah. get it at that price. There was a lot of talks, and like, you know, this is, this is definitely a break-even proposition. We just want to do it because it's cool, I think, yeah. but... No, like, like I said, I think um, I don't. I don't think it's like unfairly priced. I, but at the same time, you, you, and then you like I don't know. Are you not allowed to make a profit because Lego makes a profit, and you, their profit is much bigger than anything any of us sell ever or will yeah. ever sell because their right. profit uh, when they don't sell it to a store, I suppose. Because when they sell it to a store, it's like thirty or forty percent less. But you have to imagine if they're selling it to a store. For the store to have thirty or forty percent margin, Lego is also going to have thirty or forty percent margin. So Lego probably produces things for like twenty five percent of what you're buying them for. So just remember that before you give anyone no, else that's, a crap. <laughs> no, but that's that that's it's a good way to frame it, and that's something that everybody should think about just in life generally. Yeah, it's like they the the company that makes it generally takes home in and not for all businesses across the board but generally speaking for like retail stuff yeah they're getting when you see a price tag they got probably 30 percent of that um the company that made it yeah um that doesn't even count distributors right there's sometimes more middlemen in between so it's like lego lego and walmart their relationship is obviously big enough that they sell directly to walmart but lego will probably they do sell to distributors and the distributors then mark it up. Now that's not 30%. It's usually like five, five percent, ten percent, whatever. And then they sell it to a retailer who then sells it to the customer. So you know, um yeah, it's all it's 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 but again, guys, they're doing it at a volume of way more than a hundred and something. <laughs> These guys are busting it. How many 501st sets did they sell, Ryan? Didn't you get like an estimate? No, idea. you just you heard it's the biggest selling one ever, though, right? That's my complete conjecture. <laughs> okay. All right. I I thought I, th I thought there'd be some kind of data. I mean, look I, with Amazon. Oh, there's start... data. Oh, it's just no, we... we don't have it. But Amazon, I'll tell you what, man. If somebody was, you know, I think oh. once a qu once a quarter, right. Cody, we do our uh, Amazon sales tracking thing, which is a very popular episode around here, dude. If somebody's tracking that month by month. Over the life of a damn Cody, I just thought about that. If like when a set comes out, if you if you have the energy to once a month go in there for the 24 months it's alive, you could get at least the Amazon totals, which is usually go ahead. No, go ahead. Can, can finish your well, you so you get the Amazon totals and Amazon for a lot of businesses is about 50% of their volume nowadays. I'm not saying it's that way for Lego, but like maybe use that as a little bit of a telltale and then 
you know, add another 50% and there's your hundred percent, like, you know, uh, blended across all the other accounts. But anyway, that's how I did it. No, the Amazon one though is the Amazon US, I assume only. I, I, we would have to check actually, we should check and see if it, it's different sales uh, numbers on each site or if they even have the numbers on other sites. But um, that's good that's point. Like, yeah, good point. If it shows, yeah, yeah, like that's minutes. a great point. If it but, shows um, five thousand sold last month, is that combined with uh, UK, Canada? Right. Yeah, okay. Um, so that would be interesting, though. But regardless, um, I post. So I posted this on my story. I said the Jedi Temple for toddlers failed. Yada yada yada. And then someone like responded to me, and they're like, "Well, by the looks of it, the set next to it failed too, which is a new battle pack. Which hey, like it has bad clone helmets. I wouldn't be shocked. But uh, they go, oh, the set next to it failed, so they shouldn't do this." And I was and I was like, well, first off, this one's on clearance. The other one isn't. Second off, that's probably been sitting there on clearance for two weeks because two weeks ago, people were telling me those were on clearance at that price. The real point to all of it is I went on Amazon immediately after that because I was like, well, I'm curious. You know how many – take a guess at how many Jedi temples sold in the last – I think it's monthly. It's 30 days. Last, it's 30 days. 30 days. Take yeah. a guess what it said. I think I remember. 300. So I think it was like two, I think it was 200 plus, but it could have been 300 plus versus the battle packs was like five or 7,000. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, it, not only did it fail, it bombed. <laughs> yeah. And I couldn't tell if the guy was screwing with me or not. I was just like, Hey man, look on Amazon here. You here's the, here's the only data we can look, get. Those, those four plus sets at the end of the day have some charm, but you just know that they're going to hit. 50% off or better. And like, if you're patient enough, that's when you strike, like, look, the figs in both of those sets are great. I, you know, I did go full price Jones on the Firehawk, just knowing it's definitely going to come down, but that I couldn't wait. Cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm a starfighter nerd, you know, like I had to have it, whatever. But like my second one, which I, I'd, I'd buy a second one at half, you know, for sure. No, no, no. 200 <laughs> have been sold this month. For the temple, the firehawk, two hundred. So two hundred on the firehawk at fifty bucks. Well, it's on sale for forty. So uh, five or so, f it's on sale for forty already. 42. And that hasn't been out very long either. So yeah. that's not like end of life numbers. That's yeah, that kind of slow like, on its prime. For example, oh, the five hundred first battle pack, uh, the one that's retired, has sold more. Uh, I gotta find it. It it sold like thousands, I think. And it's retired. retired, it's selling for like $70. Inflated price, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mayo, the yeah, Tenu yeah, Temple selling. is from Young yeah. Jedi Adventures. It's a uh, animated series on Disney+. Plus. Battle wow, Pack 7K. The Ghost is only 500 Yeah, no, it's fun to do a sweep. I, I'm trying to think of what okay. the highest selling one. I, there was like some upsets too last time we did the it. New, sorry, the old file first Battle Pack is 400 in the last month, which is still double... It's double the price, double the sales, and it's been retired for two years. <clears throat> yeah. So a lot of that's a lot of that's really telling. And then obviously, I mean, you know what the top dog is, right? If you went across all themes, you know what the top dog uh, theme is? Flowers. Yes. Far and away. It's insane. Yeah. I remember, I think you and I might have had that conversation yeah. where I was like, where I went, it was, there was a line, there was a day where I went from thinking the file first battle pack was the best selling Lego set ever. To think to the it was, bouquet it was a flower bouquet, <laughs> yeah, because it's definitely a flower bouquet, yeah. And I think the OG bouquet is not retired yet, so that that could end up being because that one's 9, 2020, the very first one in this new, yeah, anyway. So, uh, let's talk Revenge of the Sith theories or dream sets. Backlog builder, you might want to catch replay, gang. I mean, I. Backlog. I guess I, I guess just to put a just to put a button on it. Do you want to make like a a, a wackadoo prediction, Ryan, that they'll never ever make, but would be freaking wild if they did? Like I'll start because um, I had this in my mind and I forgot to get it out. If they were going to bring back the art series, which this isn't like a pie in the sky thing, but it's a little out there because they haven't done it for the last few years. I could definitely see them rebooting the art series, Cody, for this for the. The shot that's on our thumbnail, Sith eyes, Anakin with the freaking hood, like that'd be sick. People have said for years, and I want both of your opinions on this, a movie posters series done in the way of Starry Night or this new Batman thing, Ryan, where it's a little bit 3D, like that would be pretty cool, like a 
an art with the with that some would figs. Be very hair. nice. Yeah. That would be so that's my nice. wackadoo pick. Some sort of art piece is going to be. But if I had to guess, I think a simple Sith art. But see, I think those little art sets. I'm doing my thumb because <laughs> I'm sitting here like. Because that's all you do with those sets is you thumb the shit out of them to put those little studs in there. Um, which, by the way, man, that that Spaceman one, I think I have three or four of them because they hit like 30 bucks. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. I don't care. But it had the best rainbow of, you know, uh, parts in there. Anyway, do you what's if you had to do a wacky off the cuff idea, Cody, what would you like? What would you say would be it would be cool? They'll never do it. But what, what would be a cool idea for? Revenge of the Sith next year. The answer is Galactic Marines. <laughs> it it yeah. should not be wacky, but it is. If you have you have a snowtrooper helmet that's basically going to work for you anyways. It, it's it's been it's been so long. Okay. It's like the one thing we're missing. Come on, I've give us a forty dollar. Give us a forty dollar set with those guys in it, just like the the purple guys. I've had Come a on. change of heart on the helmet working. I don't think they can print it all. It's because they would have to dual mold it, right? If they wanted to make they it look make decent. Yeah. Because what would would it be? Well, they don't care if it looks decent or not. So actually, fire it. Well, would they have to print purple on white, or would they have to print white on purple if they want the printing route? You know what I'm saying? Purple. What color? Well, it's like that that maroon that maroon. Oh yeah, it's like dark red color that it is. So what color would the actual helmet be? Would it be the white or would it be that maroon? I mean, I imagine mean? a white base with a red print on the top, but you can't print. They probably can't print that. So you'd probably, um, it'd probably just be a dual mold where white with white and red like that. Do a new one. Yeah. You have to do, you have to do two new helmets because you have to do Bakara too. You can't do one without that. I, I think none of this stuff can exist without it all existing at the same time. And that's what makes it wacky is that it should they all be have to do two new helmets and they won't. Yeah. Mm. Ryan, do you have any out there? Um, uh, Prediction. I'm almost you... there. I think Galactic Marines are <laughs> all right. Well, can, can, let's let's spice it up and not copy the. No, let's not copy uh, the report. Um, <laughs> okay, hold on. All right. Well, let's let's break it down. We got the opening scene, right? I we, still we, think that the two pack like that would be is is still especially UCS size. I think that's that's that's, a, that's like a sound prediction oh. though. Two UCS sets and one. Yes, Grievous's Starfighter. No one has been talking about that. It's out there. No, yeah, I, I saw it earlier in chat, but yeah, that okay, is out okay. there. Far more likely, far more likely they do Anakin and Obi Wan's, but Grievous's Starfighter. <sighs> mm, I still You're think talking two forty. You're talking in the two forty slot, right? You could theoretically, it could end up bigger, but probably, yeah, probably no, yeah, yeah definitely two forty. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Be. Because, I mean, if they did that for the X-Wing, I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah. $200 buildable Mace Windu is Shreddy's pick for. <laughs> I'd buy it. I'm going to go on a, man. It's not, none of this is major limbs. I don't know. <laughs> like, that's good. I mean, my, my Homer pick is they do a really nice play scale. Uh, going back to Palpy's Arrest, I, I just. They're going to do a dire. It just fits too well. There's no getting around it. I just, I got to stop the, uh, but you know, look, we hoped and prayed and we got the barge that we wanted. I mean, the barge I wanted. Now, Ryan, you said in a video, I believe today, every triple confirm best we can. It's in fact, 499. It's not going to be 549 or 599. Are we thinking it's definitely 499 for the sail barge? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's 10 figs is the current count. It's, yeah, it sounds like the right number to me. Okay. And, and then getting, is there a chance we get a DWP? human Java? <laughs> human Java? No. <laughs> Damn it. No way. So is the GWP, it's a Luke's lightsaber again? Is that is that true or is that? That's the rumor. I, I mean, I, I don't know anything any more than you do about that. Just uh, outside of like I was rumored and looked. Most rumors these days are pretty dang good. So outside so, of like the Jedi Temple one that we were all. Uh, well, so just to uh, clarify, this would be the Return of the Jedi Saber. So it would be different. I so. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It'd be I mean, funny if it was the same one, though. I would laugh. It's Luke's new Saber. Yeah. Fat Mace. 
Max, we, we, uh, Rebo, Rebo, again, that's heavily rumored. I, I can't say confirm. It's like the confirmed rumor, <laughs> which is such a yeah. weasel. weasel I do, it, it, people will DM me from time to time asking if anything's confirmed. And I'm like, well, no, but it's like, it's coming, but it's not like Lego didn't announce it. So unless you see it on Lego's website, it's not confirmed, basically. So I forget what I said to you weird. when it like really, when it really, really broke. I was like, it's not a big deal of, of terminology, but it is like sometimes I'll, I'll be like, hey man, it isn't, but it is. And sometimes I'll just like, whatever. Like I, I, I sprinted, I sprinted to text Riot as soon as I saw, like, I was like, you know, as soon as we got the, I think it was April 1st, which made it even worse oh, when, yeah. the, when the barge stuff was coming. I'm like, is this I real? Had, you're like, yeah. your answer is, as far as I know, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, yeah. I haven't seen anything, but I hear things. So I, I need I need assurance on that. But uh, yeah, I think we're getting a turbo tank next year, but it's going to have a crab droid in it just so that oh, Ryan awful. has something to, to talk about oh, <laughs> to make up because we were so mad about the ATTE. They're giving us what we exactly want, a crab droid, it. right? That's not, that's not what it was. <laughs> no, exactly. I like the Rebo one. That's nice. So. This is the Barge Boys. Uh, we're going to be ready for this, right? I'm telling you, sure to the summer, Barge Boys. Um, we need to sleeveless. I know. I t I'm working on it. We need a tank top version, and I want something with like some neon, you know, like a <laughs> like a real. I was thinking like a play up of like uh, Vice City could be cool, but no, this is pretty good. It, it's pretty awesome. There's a lot of detail on it. You've got uh, Jabba's skin here. I'm trying to expand this. Maybe if I click in. Uh, hang on. See, when you do a share screen, you can't, you have to like switch when you open it. There you go. But yeah, the Rebo's pretty sweet. And you can see it's, it's got Jabba skin on it. You got ACOB on the sleeve. This is awesome. Shout out to Sidious for putting this together. There's a pebble version and then more of a tan version. I kind of like the dark one. But, uh, yeah, no, we're going to be ready for this, right? It's the most exciting set of the year for me by far. I, it's, I think it'd be pretty dope. I mean, we've, I, I do, I think we've, we've, I think that picture of it is it. That picture that was floating around a year and a half ago, whatever. I'm pretty sure that that was going to be it, or that is what we're going to get. The piece count matches up? Uh, the piece count, I don't think matched, but the piece count definitely didn't match the build. Okay. I have to Google it and see if I can find it again. But we got the Royal Guard in there now too to complete sort of the boys series, which I think that one's super sick as well. So huge shout out to Sidious. Uh, you can uh, Google Lego Java Sail Barge League and find it about twelve pictures in. But like the other pictures that we saw, like the Sorting Hat, like that ended up being the exact Sorting Hat, right? I, I haven't followed exactly everything, so I don't know if there if anyone has more information than me. I'd like to hear, but like of the pictures that leaked that have come out, does everything match? Because if it does, then that's Java Sail Barge as is, full stop. But it looks small for five hundred dollars as I'm staring at it, so I don't know. I mean, we'll find out. Yeah, when look, Ryan's uh, face is all over. Turn don't, pull, don't pull it up. Close. It. Turn, turn that off. Turn that off, dude. You're not. Turn that off. <laughs> Save yourself. What? You don't want to show a bunch of confidential pictures. <laughs> oh. Brother. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, we'll trim that out. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Well, you well, said, it's, you said, it's for your own good. I have no investment no, in it. You, said, you said pull it up. I pulled it up. I don't know. Um, so, so far we have the, the Snow White Cottages come out. Um, the Gotham City skyline. I was saying that's a dangerous game. The medieval village has come out. That one looks very different from. Okay, so they're saying they're different. Okay, that's good because the sail barge looks small to me. So I can't tell I the other ones, but the, the, the medieval village is very different. I'm not allowed to just Google something anymore. This is all right. That's... If it's available on Google, you can't show it on YouTube. Not allowed. No, no, no. We'll copyright right. you. They're, they're the I'm same company. Saying. I, I'm no, with you. I'm sorry. And I've heard what you said today. Reason with them. I heard what you said today in your video too. So, all right, I'll go back and whatever. You guys can look that up on your own time. We'll trim that out. My apologies. Uh, you know, it's fine. Sean's living on the edge. We, I mean, dude, we did a, we did a, we did a whole show on leak apocalypse that day. Like we, <laughs> we showed all of it, but did I have 
Oh God! It was like a two-hour show. It was delete uh... that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Delete it. <laughs> Save yourself. All right. Well, if, if they find it, it was two years ago. It doesn't matter. Uh, this channel has been terminated. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, my buttons aren't working anymore. No. <laughs> But all we're doing is hyping it. Why is it so weird that anybody Look, has a problem with it? I mean, all we're doing is promoting their. They brand. threatened to sue me for buying sets from their retailers. They yeah, are. They don't reason. Yeah. Anyways, guys, if you want to see, you have to learn the hard way. I just don't want you to learn the hard way. No, I appreciate it. Uh, he's showing me the right way. You know what I mean? It's good. So. Yeah, Ryan, you've been generous with your time, sir. Uh, is there any uh, any anything up and coming for you? Actually, I do have one more question for you for your role. Uh, people ask about your training for the rap battle. We're now about 60 days away. Uh, I know you're a busy man, but have you found some time to get some? What's that? I haven't done anything. Are you planning on training? I mean, what's, what's happening here? Oh, uh, yeah. That's been the plan all along. If it'll happen or not, who's to say? Me, so, I booked it. It's happening. We're, <laughs> I'm, the promoter? I'm, I'm, I'm scheduling it. Like, I would like you guys to open for um, that Ninjago band, The Fold. That would be a nice, like, title fight. Let us do that. What's that? You're going to let us do that? Yeah. And your boys might even have a song, too. We could have a full blown concert. My bo what boys? Who are my boys? Well, I mean, if, if you consider us your boys, I played a little something for you, Actually, Ryan. Boys? Ryan, I played a little oh, something for you. I played you something behind the scenes. You remember the song I sent you? Yes. 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 See, we we now have opening acts for like a concert. Do you see what I'm saying? I see what we're building towards, yeah. <laughs> Just think of the merch. Think of the shirts, Ryan. Just think of Team Duck, Team m &R. I mean, it could be really fun. I don't know. By the way, just, Duck Bricks is actively at, Duck Bricks is like rapping on his shorts now. By the way, like he's ready, dude. Yeah, I'm he, not. He's applying himself. He's gunning for you, dude. I'm getting a Ghost Rider. I don't care. <laughs> I got friends in the industry. All right, that's true. Twenty one. Uh, MNR, would would you hire some background dancers for? Oh, uh, we'll see what I can. I don't know. Either way, it's going to be a spectacle. Look at him getting nervous. I like it. <laughs> you could chat GPT it, people are saying. So. Oh, that would be really funny. Oh, you should not have said that publicly because now I don't know if I could do that idea without everyone knowing that. I, that's Nobody watches doing. this show. I'm kidding. but. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be so funny to just show up and that's it. But the problem, but the problem with chat is a lot of the info is a couple years old. Like how much will they have? Would you get it specifically on? Right, let's not talk about the details. Okay. You could you could claim the whole thing was done. <laughs> Chat GPT duck bricks wrap. No, Chat, you can kind of tell what's going on. By the way, I was talking to somebody at work. The, the teachers now in middle and high school, in particular are now running papers through a chat GPT, like checker, basically. And the joke there, of course, is what are they using to check all those papers to tell if they're chat GPT? Chat GPT. So it's like the thing they're blaming them for, they're doing themselves. And I wonder how many of them are already grading homework that way anyway. <laughs> so it's like, hmm. it's funny. All right. Rich Boy uh, J concert. Yeah, dude. Yeah, listen, we could have a full concert, Ryan. You could be right there. Not... <laughs> Uh, but it is 10 30 and you go to bed. All right. Do your thing. Thank you for stopping by, sir. All right. Y'all have a good one. Later. All right, guys. Ryan from MNR Productions, uh, you know, lending the expertise on the subject. Uh, Cody, any takeaways from that discussion? I, it seems like, I don't know, man. Like, I think we're, we're all probably more hyped for Revenge of the Sith sets than Lego themselves probably are. Yeah, my biggest takeaway was I was shocked that he didn't walk off the show when he started playing Feeding the Ducks five minutes in. I thought that would set him off with the whole duck uh, debacle, but um, no, it didn't, 
in regards to the the episode three sets, uh, I don't know. I feel like we're gonna get you know maybe four or five sets because they just they seem to spread it around, um, give us a little taste, and hopefully the ones that they choose are uh, the big ones for us. You know the Palpatine's arrest, some tie interceptor stuff like that um, that we've been kind of hyping up the past couple of years. Yeah. I'm going to take the sound bite of Sean saying chat GPT duck bricks rap and make it my ringtone. Dude, send me the clip. <laughs> I'm curious how that's going to turn out for you. All right. Um, let's see. Imagine. Let's just do some Q&A to round it out. Uh, guys, uh, I just got back from a trip. I would like to go long tonight, but I'm I'm pretty beat, and I don't know if you hear it in my voice, but I'm fighting a little cold type of type of thing. But I'm happy to go through some uh, some Q and A with the boys here, and um, and then uh, maybe we could do pickups if you have any, Cody, and we'll send her home. Uh, imagine how well prequel sets would sell if they received the same TLC as Mandalorian and Ahsoka. You know, it's. It's tough because there is a subset of fans that like ride or die for what nine hours of films, seven and a half hours of films, right? It's a lot but to cover. It's a lot to cover, but it it's like they've they've been out now for twenty years. You know what I mean? Like, so you can't you kind of can't to a degree. Look, I need I think there needs to be representation across all of it. I think there, mm -hmm. you know there, there's room for all of it certainly, but I. You know, I, I don't necessarily fault Lego or Disney for pushing the stuff that's like actually on TV right now as well. I mean, you'd be stupid not to, right? I mean, yeah, for sure. You could even question does it sell better? You know, most things are about profits with those guys, but there is a lot of strategy too with that. Um, having those sets on shelves with the billboards that the show is out, you know, like it, you know what I mean? It's like it, there's, there's, um, there's a lot of, synergy connective tissue when they're trying to put something out they put it in your face in any way they can mm -hmm. you guys see it no one does it better and bigger than star wars historically you couldn't even buy a soda when phantom menace came, came out without it being in your face like they they will plaster it everywhere so they're always going to push new they're always going to because the return on investment on the new is much more critical at that point than something that's already in the archives right? you gotta they get gotta there while it's hot if it if it comes yeah. out and it's it's the next biggest thing you got to make sure that you're there for it to merchandise it yeah exactly yeah. so I, that's always going to be part of their dna and quite frankly the way nostalgia works we've said it on the show i don't know if i've ever gotten cody's direct opinion on it but there's going to be a day man when the sequels i'm telling you my daughter's six she thinks ray's the greatest Will there be a day where their their X wing sales start falling off and they have to they have to change their tune? Is that ever going to happen? No. I, the, the The prequels will never unseat the the OT as far as the biggest selling sets. Uh, never strong, but I, I you know, the staying power of the OT is palpable. It's. Well, and you have all, even with these newer shows, when they work it into the timeline of during, um, yeah. like around that, that, that original trilogy era, you're keeping um, those ships and those things fresh in, in the minds of the kids too. So you're not letting those things die with, with the older generations. Yeah, guys. Hey, sorry, I'm having uh camera and delay issues, but hopefully the voice is coming across good um, in a different location, doing this on the scene. So Thanks for bearing with us on this. I'm frozen like a human Java. All right. Let me do something I should have done a while ago. Cody, hold it down. I'm going to drop and rejoin. Fill the time. Okay. Sing a song. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. Uh, hopefully, when you come back, you're going to be nice and crisp. Um, but, yeah, the, the important thing was that your, your audio was perfect this whole time. Um, again, you're leaving me here to run this. Oh, there you are. You are crystal clear to me. I don't know what you look like to my crisp. Is that all I needed you, to do? You look very good to me. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to look like to everyone else, but on my end, how's the vid qual, boys? Am I back? Thousand times better. All right, I should have just done that earlier. Sorry, <laughs> it was such a hot conversation, though. So the audio is good. That's all that matters. I mean, listen, nobody's 
watching this, they'll look at me. I hope. Jeez Louise. Um, <laughs> uh, smooth, nice, perfection. All right, good. No, because guys, this would have broke my heart because we're actually here. We're still getting work done on my house. We're actually here for a bit. So I was hoping for a pretty reliable feed. And on my end, dude, if you guys know anything about uh, internet and speed and all that, this this place... <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't the speed. I'll tell you that this thing is. This place is blazing. <laughs> I was getting like seven, eight hundred down. So I was like, and the up was still like two hundred. I mean, it was fine. no excuses. Ko, shout out to our first and oldest channel member, King Oldendorf. Eleven months on the channel. Shout out to you, sir. It's going to be a year very soon. Jake's bricks and picks. Another channel member. Hold it down. <laughs> it looks so good now we can zoom in and see Adams. Thanks for all the joy during these stream shot. Oh, you're welcome, Tiger. Guys, go check out Tiger Builds. He's building, speaking of building, he's building a nice community and channel over there. Good time. He's a big solo fan. Probably the biggest I've ever met in my life. Uh, and let's, uh, actually, let's hit some supers that we, we had some stuff flying by earlier. Shout out to Austin Brick. 62 days. There we go. 62 days till Brick World Chicago. TJ checking in for nine months. Anonymous employee, $2.79. Hit the like button, folks. Barge Boys labeled Speedo. I, I You know, I don't know if we'll get there, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> moments in at 11 months. A milestone time. He joined, I think, night one of eligibility. KO, of course, and uh, Tiger once again. So thanks, guys. All right, let's do some uh, – <laughs> Sean's camera now giving me a loner. All right, well, that's good. Spaceball set. Dude, I'd be into it. A Sean Mech anytime soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Falcon is in SBs. What is that? Hmm. Spaceballs? Yeah, that's all I got. Spaceballs was mentioned earlier. So Millennium Falcon. Maybe there's like a knockoff of the Falcon. I don't think it's the exact Falcon. Can't wait for more Jedi Bob news. Apparently it's still okay. So let's get into that. Um is it there's a whole is is are they or aren't they going on with the with the Jedi Bob and the Dark Millennium Falcon set? People were saying that was just like a rumor to kind of bust people. I don't believe that theory. I think because everything came out at once and obviously they don't release it all at once. Um, when you don't see something as outlandish as, as pictures of something like the dark Falcon and the Jedi Bob thing, you start maybe losing faith in it. Um, I, I, I don't know. I think that's really the only, the only thing I can think of of why people are so cold on it now. Oh, but. outside the diner, you can see the Falcon. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe Lucas was cool with him making it, if I recall correctly. So it's probably a little bit of a nod. Are we going to do a Clicker's Corner Falcon's Nest? <laughs> you know, um, we could take a quick spin there, and then we'll 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 send her home. That sounds good. Sorry, guys. I'm just uh, I'm fighting something off here. Is Julie right? I miss Brent. I miss Brent too, Julie, but Brent's having him a well-deserved date <laughs> night. So that's all right. Well, you know, it's it's all good. We, we, always, we always miss Brent when he's not here, but we'll have him back, I'm pretty sure, next week. Um, we miss the Falcon, for sure. And you know what, guys? I have not given up hope. We still have the Falcon's Nest banner. And even though we're going to probably show a little bit of clicker because he's been killing it, Lately, stepping up, did the vid certainly, but he's also got you know some great uh, info out there. Let's let's go over to the clicker for now until the Falcon returns. All right, let's see where do we want to go. Um, go icons real quick. Kuntash, we get a big boy Kuntash. Do you care about this at all, Cody? I actually do. I don't. I don't really care about any of the the big icons cars like that outside of. Uh, licensed like I have the DeLorean um, but I haven't touched like the Mustang or anything like that but this uh, the small one of these the Countach is, is the first Speed Champs I bought so I might be interested in this one Riot on here saying bye so yeah he's a fan too so yeah I, look I think of, of as far as the ones that transcend uh, what am I trying to say they get into like 
Is the audio still okay? I picked the yep. mic up. I, I yep. gotta sit yep. back. <laughs> the uh the transcend and jump into Normie, Normieville. Uh, mm -hmm. this probably that Porsche 911, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. The Mustang, you know, like there's there's some cars. Some of this stuff is just like out there, you know, some of the scions and all like people I there's a market for that, but I definitely yeah. think some of these more I don't even know because when you say approachable, like nobody's affording one of these early either, but I guess I don't know what it is, just the design of it and cross generations. Everyone loves this uh, particular vehicle. So now it should be sick. Mona Lisa. Oh, I guess we got some G dubs. The fruit store. Is that, is nice. that the one that was already out? No, uh, they did the flower. They did the flower store. Uh, okay. Last month. I'm, like, I I already, think... I'm like, I already have that. I guess. <laughs> right. uh, Mona Lisa. So that's where my art set's going. I like my uh, Sith art set better. So Yeah, probably. Oh, you got some monkey or uh, some gorilla, gorilla some boys. Panda there. <laughs> sure, those will be in some city sets. Those are fun. Wonder if they're gonna be? They got to be jungle sets, right? Not zoo set. They're probably jungle. Oh yeah, because we're getting. Aren't we getting Johnny Thunder? Is that gonna slide in there somehow? Yeah, this is big news, dude. Yeah, yeah, this is really cool. So guys, in July, there is gonna be a UCS book, dude. I'm day day one FPJ in this thing for sure. It's a nice box that's coming in there. That is a beautiful box. Hmm. I'm definitely picking this up. So I don't know much about it. I don't know if you know much about it either, Cody. But it yeah, looks what's to be what's a... that going to cost? Because that looks well, yeah. Let's too let's, nice. let's, break, let's break it down, boys. Girth gang, let me know what are we thinking? Like a hundred? What are the normal books? Are the normal books like twenty? Well, I 20 -ish, think twenty five. Does anybody know how much that Lambo or the Ferrari book was? That'd be a good, and then and then spice it up by twenty to fifty percent. <laughs> I'm going to say a hunch minimum, right? Obviously. What's all going to be in here? Is it just going to be... What's the PPP, the price per page? Is it just going to be UCS stuff? Is it going to be... Oh, Ryan said 80-ish. Okay, we're not far off. Yeah, this is a book on UCS. Uh, wait, is it just on UCS? I mean, there's only been, what, like 30-something UCS sets? It's a thick book. I think Ryan said UCS. The force of Creativity. Maybe it's gonna have more to do with like the design oh, process. Okay. I don't know Maybe. where I got UCS. I thought I heard uh, cause it says ultimate up there in the top left. Uh, okay. That might that might be why. And then and you I see mean, they, they have the Falcon yeah. and yeah. Yeah. All right. Either way, um I'll tell you what though. It's something I hope for and I hope but I it's like I hope they do and I hope they don't. You imagine if they uh do, do it a dish with a figurino in there, like some that'd, come that'd with a sweet or a deluxe version, right? Well, they'll, I, have nor, they'll have a normie version for a hundred, and then a deluxe for like 150 that has stuff in it. I've been getting scared lately because they've been putting out those uh micro scale Ninjago sets on their just on the VIP section of their site that you have to cash in points for. And the day they do a Star Wars, uh collectible that goes in that section where you can only get it cashing in those points yeah i mean that's that's gonna be tough they are doing that they're doing it for for ninjago stuff now so i don't oh, know yeah. where that, that train oh, that stops and yeah. starts so comes with captain rex with cloth comma <laughs> <laughs> that would be a riot <laughs> yeah guys i don't know i mean i think that's um i think uh is this the mall book no the mall book's uh different um this is this is a different situation. Yeah, very cool. Should be cool. I I breezed past it. I was running through an airport today, and I was like, "Oh, this looks cool." Or yesterday, two days ago. Yeah, same story. <laughs> Dreams is back. It is somehow it returned. Kind of old news now. If you guys want to see this, uh, Ryan's got reviews up of both of these sets. Definitely preferred the droidica what say you cody are you take yeah this i think the droidica is a better a better value um obviously it looks like they executed it very well um the price on on the pod racers is just it's it's so far up there for what it is uh um, brick clicker is the source we used for that i don't know like where the original uh leak of the book came from well i think it came from ryan right it did it come in the back of the instruction 
Oh yeah, that's in Manuals the manual. That he had. Yeah, that's true. I don't. I don't want to. Well, <laughs> I don't want to credit him for that unless he wants to be credited for it. So <laughs> that too, maybe. Uh, AD is considering set prices are going up, guys. I, I, we don't control it. I'm looking at it. I'm seeing like an outer, you know, box on it. Like, is it this big, or is it this big? Yeah, if it's, it's a real it's hard. If it's a real coffee table style book, I I don't see any less than eighty bucks. You know, with the license and all that, and they know, you know, again, they price this. They know a bunch of maniacs will buy it for eighty, and then when it goes on clearance at I don't know forty, fifty bucks, they're still doing well on it. So why not try to get what you can? Mm -hmm. <laughs> New wave of dreams looks great. Kids love the set. I think it's doing well in general. Walter, I love you, but I don't think the dreams. Uh, theme is doing well at all i think i mean it's it's getting that same clearance treatment everywhere all day every day i'm seeing a lot of clearance on it there's just too many other things to buy right now it's i'm not saying it's bad and that i don't like it yeah to be clear if, if it came out great. like 10 years ago i think it'd be doing very well there's i and i much to buy now. everything everybody's saying clever pig i agree with you it's peak it's peak lego it's to me it's got it's the it's the monkey kid situation 2.0 like they're doing some really inventive letting them go doing great stuff i think the show isn't very good that hurts it my opinion actually not just my opinion my daughter i tried i wanted to get into it together so we could do it together she did not like the show i'm hearing it's not getting a lot of views um again it's not a knock on the creativity or the people that made it or the sets i don't I'm hearing it's not doing well at the box office in terms of on shelf. For everybody that loves it, I hope I'm wrong and they just let it go for sure. Like let it ride. You know, I'm not. Yeah, they're going to kill it. But they're probably going to kill it. And I heard like no matter what, right? Hell or high water, if they'll give everything two waves. Is that right, yep. Cody? Yep. Yeah, that's that's the word on the street. Yeah, I, I'd be surprised if we see any more than these these three that are coming out. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anyone would agree, but I think Lego Ideas is killing it with the recent releases. Yeah, I mean, like, Lego Ideas is, pr I mean, whether you're into Star Wars, it's like, that'll be your main theme, sure, always, right? But Ideas, I mean, they should be the number one theme, because they, they can go Something anywhere, everyone. Yep. Yeah, yeah I'm, I am so excited for the Jaws set. It's going to be so cool. The, the fishing boat for Jaws, that's supposed to come out later this year. I'm stoked. Day one. Yep. Oh, dude, hard, a hard FPJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Jaws boat, are you kidding me? That would be Indiana Jones, one wave on this one. That's what I, it's, yeah, and, and again, like, Hidden Side flopped, Dreams is like Indiana another Jones hit. was weird, though, because we were supposed to get more. They, like, killed at mid, I think even before the first wave came out, they are like, yeah, we're not doing, we're not doing oh, okay. those extra sets for the new movie. Here you go, Walter know. has a more educated take on it. So everything gets three waves. They decide based on the wave two sales if he gets a fourth per a land brief. Okay, so hmm. some behind the scenes news there. Jaws is a hard FPJ. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Jaws is in August. There NBC. We go. What is NB? Uh, oh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yep, yep. I was like, they're making a TV station set. What are we doing? <laughs> I've done so many questionable things for more indie sets. I would have done more. Yeah, I mean, dude, I'm bummed. It was. It's a shame. I, I think I don't know exactly what happened. I know the movie didn't do well and it wasn't critically, you know, acclaimed and didn't do well at the box office. From what I understand, Disney's been on a really bad run of movies. And yeah. I think indie, indie fell victim to that, you know, like. But yeah, guys, a uh, lot, lot happening. It's it's nonstop. Uh, this, pff, yeah, let's get into this a little bit. Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah. That's what uh, I'll get. That's awesome. Classic TV series Batmobile. Now, I've seen some back and forth on this. People are saying, no way. It's too high. It's whatever. Honestly, I go back and forth between this and the 89 is my favorite Batmobile because I love this oh, Batmobile. This one's awesome. The red. The red is so good. The convertible open top. It's too it's good. It's a million instant. All right, guys. are Yeah. The, we're getting some loners out there for this one. Yeah. I've just seen some people going, and again, it depends on the age range and all that. Like basically, most of us did not, myself included, see this when it first came out. But boy, when I was a kid, Batman '66, mm -hmm. 
that was Nick at night. It was all that. I mean, I watched mm-hmm. Batman 60. I've shown it to my kids because it's safe to show them. Like it's just it's it's, it's goofy comic booky. It's it's, it's it's its own thing. It's it's you just you have to see it to know. It's it's very different from the Batman we get nowadays. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, my dad loved it from back <laughs> in the day, like understandable. Like yep. I know this isn't Dark Knight, and and I guess that's kind of why I am the way I am about Batman is I I guess that's why I think 89 is overall the best one for me because like this was leaning at 66 is leaning a little too goofy. Yeah. Dark Knight is too dark for me. I, I like a little bit of comedy with my, you know, comic book stuff. I just do. Yeah. It's not moving in the right direction for you. Everybody's yeah. Everybody, DC is just like dark and serious because it worked yep. for Batman. Right. So like everything yep. else had to be dark and it's like, I don't know, man. It could use a little a while to rebound it's from dudes that, running yeah. around in tights. Like you got to be able to make jokes. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, it's the the sixty plus year olds are gonna go crazy on this set, man. This is gonna Walter be knows name. Adam West Batman top tier kid entertainment, and this just reminds me, man. Like it's been about a couple years since I showed my daughter. My son's old enough to sort of follow it. I'm gonna start mm-hmm. running these back, man. This was this was really good stuff. Yeah. So yeah, guys. I mean, I get that it's not for everyone, but I'm super. I'm more excited about this than a damn wall art. I'll tell you that. It's not just black. That. that That's the other thing. And there it is, man. The biggest loner going. A raging, yeah. <laughs> raging loner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This appears to be the lineup of figs. Four ninety nine. I'm excited. I I I do. At least the R2 is going to have, you know, the little uh, cocktail set, we hope, right? Yeah. So at least it's a little bit of a different R2, but I do hate when R2 and C3PO are like slot fillers, you know? I'm always. Like, I know. They do that all the time. Adam West is peak. Yeah. There was no way that they were going to get away with just putting one or two figs in, in the barge, man. Well, I was certainly no sweating it out. I mean, if you guys, if you guys are new around here, which I, you know, most of you guys are OGs at this point, but we actually clipped out that whole discussion that we had with with Tyler about what was going to happen with this, and I know we talked about it with Ryan several times. It might mm-hmm. even have been both of them at the same time. But the whole time, I was like, they cannot. Part part of that discussion was. Uh, I think at one point, what somebody on the panel said, "What if they didn't put Jabba in it?" Yeah, I know. I was just gonna say, like, that's how bad it got. Was that's how bad it got? Have the guy in it who said it is? That makes no sense. Right. But yeah, it was scary. They were like, "That'd be wild if you just got like a Rebo and a bib," (laughs) you know. And I'm like, "You can't what?" The the smoking gun was the skiff. You put you put those five six figs, whatever is in the skiff. You can't yeah. put those figs there and come out with that set if you're not going to do this. That was the, way the problem. It needs to be done. Yep. yep. And from day one, I was like, I wanted to get the, the ATAT treatment, and it did, mm-hmm. and I'm happy. Here's what we don't know, though, I believe to this day. Uh, we don't know if we're getting a moldy jobs. I God, I hope so. I really hope so. Like the we were talking about earlier, the, the diorama for Jurassic Park. The hundred dollar one. Yeah, that's my one issue with that set is it's the brick built T Rex and it just doesn't it doesn't do it the same way the molded one does. And for job, but but the brick built the brick. I think the brick built Dino for the gate was the big one though. Yeah, because because it's so big that you're able to to put those smooth pieces in the detail. But do do you guys think we're gonna get a new uh, Cody and then also the chat? Are we gonna get a new moldy boy for that jobs or are we gonna get the same old jobs? I don't know what they would improve on. I mean, that other one is so good. I think maybe they they alter the print, you know, and refine that. But as far as the mold, that other one's just about perfect, right? Yeah. Other than the tail, maybe you I, maybe you change the tail strange, a little bit. I don't but... even want to put it into the universe, man. <laughs> I don't. I don't. But it's possible. Or think about this: a brick built Java with stickers. That's even worse. Oof. Oh God! Please don't do that to me. I not an HJ, but still a minifig. I let's see. 
You excited for Barad Dur? What do you think the GWP with it will be? I'll defer to Cody. He's more of the uh, – I'm going to do Lord of the Rings again. I will. You I need to be to. part of these. You got him. I know. It's I, so good. I liked it when I saw it 100 years ago, but I still say that third one is the longest movie I've it ever is. seen. It is. No, I saw it in theaters when it came back a couple of years ago, and, yeah, it ends 15 times. It's Right? It's that long. was my problem. I'm like, yeah. it's over. And then they'd switch to another land. That's all I remember was, like, really wanting to leave at the end. Yeah. Of the Three is very long, but – it's no, it's incredible. But no, as far as Baradour coming out, it's it's going to be crazy. I mean, I think it's 500, 550. It's going to be a beast. Um, if you have the old one or think it's going to go well with that. I, I like this idea, by the way, from Tiger Builds. And, you know, and, and Ryan does have that ability. Maybe we partner with Ryan one more time and we make an HJ for this barge. Yeah. I you guys let me know. That, I think that'd be a, a great idea. The, we're taking a we're taking a break. We hit you know the the set hard and all that but come october i think everybody be ready for an hj i certainly <laughs> will be you know what i mean i know what you mean <laughs> you're talking about a figure i don't know what you're talking about all right um be figure do it do it i think we should i think i think that would be a really fun thing it's perfect to timing you know we got this whole build up he's been growing in our minds for the past few months and uh yeah it'll be good and he'll be able to get hopefully a lot of them, so they'll be like, yeah, re reasonable. You know what I mean? Like, because his his stuff is like, like what was his dark side ray like twenty twenty five? Yeah, right? I it think he a... was. I think he was at like twenty five. And yeah, when the what he gets it UV printed there, and he gets it in such mass quantity that I think that would definitely good, be doable. Yeah. I mean, he seems like he wants to you, do it. So you guys want the you guys that. want the you guys want the uh, you guys want the HJ. All right. <laughs> well, we'll put it on the docket. We'll we'll make it happen. You guys want one? Uh, we probably want to release it uh, September, so you have it in time. I would think would be a nice uh, get it for yeah. day one. Definitely. I mean, you got to have Humes. <laughs> As a Disney guy, what do you think about the new Sleeping Beauty Castle set, based on the movie or the park in California? Um. Is that the micro scale one he's talking about? They're, they are doing a micro of the Disneyland, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, man, day one, full price Jones, 100%. But I really wish that they didn't do a second Cinderella's Castle, the girthy one. Um, but I understand why they did. I, I would like to see, um, you know, the 340 or 349, 400, whatever dollar version of the Disneyland Castle. But yeah, and then when he says uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle set based on the movie or the park in California, oh, I thought for sure it was going to be the castle based on uh, Disneyland. If that's not the case, I mean, yes, either way, I'm getting it because I have all the mini. I even have the um, the Ariel and the, yeah, the Aladdin. Those yeah. are really cool, but they're very underrated. I think they look yeah. good all together. I wasn't sold, but I, there was a picture where they're all lined up and. It, they look very good together. We got to get an HJ fig before Grand Theft Auto 6. <laughs> Is that dropping next year, 25? It keeps getting pushed. I mean, supposedly, I think supposedly, yeah, next well, year. Well, they right? better so they don't have a <laughs> cyberpunk situation on their hands. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather them get it right than hear everybody whine for a year. Definitely. And I don't even know if cyber cyberpunk's recovered a little bit, but it still hasn't recovered fully. I don't think. No, it wasn't what it was supposed to be. Euro Disney is the best. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, Epcot Ball. Oh, there's God. no reason not to have the castle for every park around the world and sell it at that park. I'm you just can sell it there forever. It. Yeah. Like, I, oh, okay. He was just predicting it. Yeah, man. Like, look, I, I think they are making a micro though of Sleeping yeah. Beauty. I thought I did see the pretty yeah. reliable place. Yeah. Yeah, I think I saw a fairly reliable poster talking about that and it would make sense um atlantis is tied with emperor's new groove for disney sets i want yeah i would take an emperor's new group guys any of the any of that stuff uh, the, the only thing i don't buy disney well that's not even true because i get it for my daughter i just don't buy the princessy mini doll stuff generally uh as a rule you Did know, you buy just, the treehouse, the hundred and sixty dollar one, the big one with all thirteen? You know, someone offered there? to pick that up for me for half price, Henry, and uh, I passed on it just because. Really? 
Yeah, because I bought her the. Do you remember the the princess battle pack before that? It was like the ultimate Disney castle. I think it was called. It was similar. It was like twelve girls were in it. Like, okay, I don't remember that one. But okay, but imagine that lineup of. It's the same princess. lineup, though. Yeah, yeah. Generally speaking, this that one, this sense. new one, actually might have a few more. Actually, but it was like, I I don't do the girthy ones anymore with her because she just. She plays with them the same as she does, like a little thirty dollar. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? They both yeah. get like two or three days, and then it's kind of like. So I will I buy her hundred plus dollar sets when she, when it warrants it and it gets uh-huh. more play. Yeah, uh-huh. but right now she's just as thrilled with like, what did I just get her? Uh, I don't know. So like I just said, I don't know. Some thirty forty dollar set. She enjoyed the shit. Oh, a Gabby. She got a Gabby's dollhouse. Yeah. yeah, we got all those over here. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't buy her the house. The house is a hundred or eighty. When that's half yeah, off, I'll, yeah. a million, a million percent get that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, save the money while you can. <laughs> if you can get yeah. away with it with the twenty dollar set and it's the same know, as everything really else, then... on that one, if she really, you know, good report card. Gets me with the daddy and only the way she can. Yeah, (laughs) then maybe you know I could be convinced. But yeah, 160 for something she's gonna play with very little. Nah, dog. (laughs) Ten ten dollar battle picks hit hard back in the day. Yeah, I mean great value for sure. I I did I built the box of boys, the deluxe box of boys that came out. Um, the you know the new thirty dollar guy droids pack. We had a blast with that. She enjoyed it. One city young man. Oh yeah. Everyone loves the box of boys. Yes, and thank you for reminding me, guys. <laughs> I am pumped about this. Let me let me get this going. That is a good that is a good plug, sir. Thank you, Eli, for reminding me that we have got it's quite frankly, it's it's an annual tradition now, Cody. Uh it's third very, year. Third year, man. I can't believe uh, it's almost time for Baru to make her triumphant comeback. Uh, Let me see here. Do I have it? Yes, I do. Where is she? That's right, guys. She's coming. Oh, no. I don't want to. You still see Batman. (laughs) The clicker still up there. I see it. Hold on. I got to do overlay. My bad, guys. Give me a second. A little off the game here. Give me a sec, guys. We still got to get some stuff revealed before uh, before May here, too. Like we were saying earlier, we still haven't seen the Infiltrator, and I assume there's a couple more that are um, still yet coming. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hang on, guys. Sorry get this up but uh because yeah we'll have the pod race droidica the interceptor and then we need a couple more to fill that out there we go there we go <laughs> pardon the pun <laughs> 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 there it is boys third annual and Peru's may the fourth buyer's guide and boys she's coming she's coming hard machine gun in hand Yep, she's ready to go. She got her bag ready. Uh, last year's edition, we had Ryan uh, hoping to, to do the same. We'll, we'll get you an all-star lineup. That'll be a special edition. That will be more of a GWP. It won't be a full ACOB show. I think we do one hard hour just on May the 4th. We talk about strategies to hit GWP, all that good stuff that you come Yeah, when do, when do we follow this year? May 4th is on Saturday, and the 1st is on Wednesday. Yep, it's on Wednesday, so I would say look for like a Monday, Tuesday special edition of ACOB on that one. We'll have the Aunt Peru's third annual, I can't believe it, May the 4th Buyer's Guide. Uh, she's ready. I mean, she's looking at you. She's excited. <laughs> <laughs> Baru, guaranteed loner every time. It'll be a Barutiful show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, let's go. But, yeah, this will be a very special edition. We're just going to just pure... May the 4th, goodness. It's it's quite frankly one of my favorite annual events, and I'm looking forward to bringing it to you guys. We should get Amperu to come on the show. I could get like a pile of ashes or something. <laughs> show. But I will have the set in hand. Um, let me ask you something, Cody. How many of those do you have? 
I think I have three. Same. <laughs> I have three of those. <laughs> I don't I have. have one. I don't have one open yet, though. Oh, dude. Uh, I, I've, I've got them all on ice, man. No. <laughs> I got a pop one. Yes, I got a pop one. Okay. Will, will you commit to that out of respect? Will you build if one? I, if I have three, I'll pop one open. Otherwise, I'll I'll grab another one here. I, I got to keep those on ice. But yeah, they're not too crazy, right? I think we're talking like a forty piece for those right now. Oh yeah, they're I, I, at max. Yeah. That's what I advise people, you know, like that's truly the last great GWP we've had. Correct me if I'm wrong. As far as yeah. Star Wars. Well, and it was, it was a, it was a bright sun that we got right in the beginning. And we're like, Oh, all the, we got great days ahead of us. They're always going to be good now. And then, uh, well, it's been gone kind of South since then. <laughs> yeah. It hasn't been great. Uh, as for me, uh, we'll quickly weekly picks and we're wrapping. Uh, I don't have it with me. I they got the the Bond Speed Champs. You guys probably saw it in a video. I don't know if I showed it off last week, but I did get a retired boy at Nobs. And guys, I'm here to tell you, everybody's saying quit quit giving away the farm, but telling you guys, Nobs, man, still where it's at. Still, dude, don't sleep on it. There was so much retired stuff there, and even if that's not what you're into, even if you're not looking for any retired stuff, on release day. Going yep. on the record, second yep. best place besides the Lego store. Walmart and Target, depending on where you are, depending on who's working, they don't necessarily put the stuff out. They don't care. I'll tell you who cares. Nobs. Nobs has the full <laughs> trough of everything ready to go on the first. And also for you guys who are like, oh, the dirty resellers and scalpers are taking my, my CMFs. <laughs> Mine has like literally the last four waves of CM. Now I know that's that part's an anomaly, but even when I was in LA where it was busy, they'd have three or four cases of whatever the new one was, like guaranteed. The best is when you go to your mall, right? You go to the Lego store and they've sold out, and you just walk, you know, a couple stores down to the Nobs, and and they have the set still. In they stock have everything. There. <laughs> so I mean, guys, seriously, don't get caught slipping. Coles is Coles is good. So, yep. shout out to Padawan, Padawan in the house. I'm sorry, Padawan, we're 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 winding down here, but uh, but yeah, the nobs. Everybody's showing respect. See, nobs, nobs. Yavin four get a GWP. Ugly Chewbacca GWP. Yeah, no, I I want to hear. This is what we got to talk about for sure. Padawan, watch replay, gang, dude. We're gonna. I feel bad, but we're gonna wind down here, man. <laughs> so, it was a show. Brent was out on a date night. I have a bit of a cold, but we powered through. Guys, that was the early look at Lego Star Wars 2025. It is fun to go back and look at this episode, maybe as we learn more. Because uh, sometimes there's some validation, like with the Java sell barge. I think your boy nailed it pretty good, Cody. I thought I thought I did a nice job on that sell barge. I think so. So, guys, huge shout out. Whether you bought or didn't buy the box of boys, thanks for bearing with us as we got through it. We did have to push it to get it to get the mount sold that we needed to make it a reality. But uh, congrats, to everybody we that got it. in. You guys did it. You made it happen. It's the coolest thing we've pulled off by far. I want to thank you guys for that. So, for Ryan from MNR Productions, for, uh, yeah, for Stud Lake, aka Cody, this has been Sean the Right Way. And this thing right here has been a couple of brickheads. Yeah. I thought Cody was going to hit me with a yeah. I was letting you take that one solo that time. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Later.